We now come to section 3, currency exchange rate calculations. Here we will talk about exchange rate quotations, cross rate calculations and forward calculations. First let's look at some exchange rate quotations. Specifically look at this quote 1.4000 US dollars to Euro. As mentioned before in this quote the US dollar is the price currency and the Euro is the base currency. I have said this many times before and I will repeat because it is extremely important. Base currency is the currency of which we have just one unit. This means that one euro is worth 1.4000 US dollars. US dollars is the price currency. We are talking about the price of one euro in terms of US dollars. A direct quote takes the domestic currency as the price currency. An indirect quote takes the domestic currency as the base currency. For a German investor, is the above a direct quote or not? If you are a German investor, then obviously your domestic currency is the euro. The euro, as we have shown over here, is the base currency. Now let's look at the definitions again. A direct quote takes the domestic currency as the price currency. That is not the case over here because the domestic currency is the base currency if you are a German investor. An indirect quote takes the domestic currency as the base currency. That is what is happening over here. So this quote is an indirect quote from the perspective of a German investor. And just to understand the intuition behind this, if you are German, then you think about prices in terms of the euro. If you are buying one dozen bananas, for example, then you will look at the price of bananas in terms of euro. So you will say that one unit of bananas costs six euro. Similarly, if you are buying US dollars, then a direct quote will be one where you will say that one US dollar is worth, let's say, 0 0.8 euro. So from a German perspective, a direct quote will be one where his currency, the euro, is the price currency. This would be a direct quote for an American investor because an American will think in terms of dollars. He wants to know what is the price of a euro in terms of dollars. So make sure you understand this definition. The next point related to currency quotations is the fact that currencies are always quoted as a bid and an ask. And these and this quote, the bid ask, is from the perspective of the dealer. The bid is the price at which the dealer will buy the base currency from you, and the ask is the price at which the dealer will sell the base currency. And given our convention, the euro is the base currency, that is the one that is coming here in the denominator. So what this is saying is that a dealer will buy 1 euro for 1.3990 dollars and the dealer is also willing to sell 1 euro for 1.4010 dollars. The bid price will always be less than the ask and that is because the dealer makes money based on the bid ask spread. There will be a lot more on the bid-ask spread at level 2. Here is another point that we've seen before and we are reinforcing over here. When one currency appreciates, the other depreciates. Say the US dollar to Euro rate changed from 1.4 to 1.5. Which currency appreciated? As I mentioned before, when this number goes up, that means that the base 
currency has strengthened. So if your quote is US dollar to euro, where the euro is the base currency, the rate goes up, then the base currency, in this case the euro, has appreciated or increased in value and the dollar has lost or the dollar has depreciated. Now what is the percentage appreciation? To calculate the percentage appreciation for the euro, what you can say is 0 0.1, which is the change, divided by 1.4 into 100. This will give you the percentage appreciation of the euro. What about the depreciation of the dollar? For that, what you need to do is convert this into a rate for the dollar. The rate for the dollar would be 1 divided by 1.4, which is equal to, when you consider the dollar over here, this is the rate for the dollar. So the dollar was 0.7143 euro, and then the dollar weakened to 0.6667. So we are saying, that we went from so many euro to the dollar to 0.6667 euro to one dollar. Notice that over here, the dollar is the base currency. This is the depreciation or a loss in value of 6.67%. When you look at the euro, the euro went from 1.4 to 1.5, and this is an appreciation of 7.1%. What I want to emphasize here is that euro going up by 7.1% does not mean that the dollar goes down by 7.1%. The dollar goes down by 6.67%. You can obviously calculate one if you have the other, but these two numbers are not the same. Now let's take a look at example four from the curriculum. A dealer based in New York City provides a spot exchange rate quote of this. And notice that we are told that this is the convention MXN over USD. So USD is the base currency. Mexican peso is the price currency. And for convenience, we are also given the inverse. What this means is that point 0806 would be USD over MXN. From the perspective of the Mexican client, what is the direct exchange rate? Now remember, a Mexican client wants his currency as the price currency. And that is the case over here. 12.4035 is the price currency, which is the Mexican peso. The Mexican wants to know how much he can buy or sell one dollar for, and one dollar is for 12.4035 Mexican peso. So that is the direct exchange rate for the Mexican. Let's do question two now. If the bid offer quote from the dealer was 12.4020, and 12.4060 Mexican to USD. What is the bid offer quote in terms of USD over Mexican peso? Here the USD is the base currency. So I have indicated that over here. The dealer is willing to buy the base currency, which is the USD, for 12.4020 Mexican peso. And the dealer is willing to sell $1 for this much. To come up with the quote in terms of USD over Mexican peso, which means the Mexican peso is the base currency, we need to take the reciprocal. Remember, if the dealer is willing to buy dollars, that is the same thing as the dealer selling peso. This is the ask or the sell side. And for that, we need to take the reciprocal. The reciprocal of 12.4020 is 
12.08063. This is the ask. 12.4 is how much the dealer is asking for, for one dollar. In other words, he is selling a dollar for 12.406. Selling dollars is the same thing as buying peso. This is the bid or the buy side. We take the reciprocal of 12.4060 and come up with 0.08061. So this is our bid ask spread with the Mexican peso as the base currency. Section 3.2 cross rate calculations. Given two exchange rates, and three currencies, it is possible to determine the third exchange rate. And this third exchange rate which you calculate is called the cross rate. Let's take a very simple example. We have two exchange rates here and three currencies. Given these two exchange rates, you want to find the PKR Indian rupee exchange rate. So how do we do that? It's basic algebra PKR over the Indian rupee. Here the Indian rupee is the base currency. This is given by PKR over USD multiplied by USD over INR. Notice that if we can use these two rates the dollar cancels out and the product of these two exchange rates will be the PKR INR rate. The PKR USD is given that is 100 multiplied by USD INR. Over here the INR is the base currency but in the quote given the USD is the base currency. So what we actually do here is multiply by the reciprocal of this. The reciprocal of this is USD over INR and that would be 1 over 60. So rather than multiplying by 60, we multiply by 1 over 60. So our exchange rate is 100 over 60 which is 1.6667. This is the cross rate and the interpretation is that one Indian rupee is worth this many Pakistani rupees. Now let's consider example 5 from the curriculum where we will do some cross exchange rate calculations and look at percentage changes in currency. Here is the information given related to the US dollar, Euro, Swiss franc and the British pound. What is the Swiss franc euro cross rate? And I want you to do these before you look at the solutions. Here is what you need to do. This is exactly like what we saw on the previous example. The answer is 1.3381. This many Swiss francs for one euro. What is the spot GBP euro cross rate? Here we need to find the GBP to Euro exchange rate and this is equal to GBP over USD times USD over Euro. Again notice that the USD will cancel out. GBP over USD. Here USD is the base currency but in the information given the GBP is the base currency. So we take the reciprocal of this number which is shown right here multiplied by USD to Euro and that is given right here. Do the multiplication or the division and you have 0 0.8808 GBP for 1 Euro. Next question. Is the Euro expected to appreciate or depreciate against the USD? We've done this before so this is a quick revision. Look at what's happening to the USD to Euro. Euro is the base currency and this is the spot rate. The expected spot rate after one year 
is 1.38 notice that this expected spot rate is coming down which means that the base currency i.e the euro is expected to weaken by how much for that you simply take the difference between these two and then divide by the original spot rate and that should give you minus 0.7 percent which currency is expected to be the strongest over the next year this is an important point the strongest currency is the one which appreciates the most or in this scenario the currency which is expected to appreciate the most so let us do a very basic exercise here before we solve any numbers between the usd and the euro clearly the usd is expected to be stronger than the euro so if we are to just on a vertical axis depict the various currencies where higher means stronger what about between the usd and the swiss franc between the usd and the swiss franc this number is 0.958 and 0.955 so here we are saying that the base currency is becoming weaker so the us dollar is becoming weaker relative to the swiss franc that means that the swiss franc is over here what about the us dollar relative to the pound 1.585 and here we have 1.57 this means that the pound is expected to weaken against the dollar so we have gbp over here we could compare these two if we were to find the weakest currency but given the information here clearly the swiss franc is expected to be the strongest currency over the upcoming year i have skipped a few mcq questions from this example which i definitely want you to do so make sure you go through the curriculum and do all the mcqs from example 5